My name is Nagori Yuki. Let's begin. Yo, what's up guys? I am Uriel Legion, a fighting gamer creator for Giants, a streamer and very involved with Guilty Gear series. And today I'm here to talk to you about Nagori Yuki, my main character in Guilty Gear Strife. But before we get a start, be sure to get subscribed to that files for more character guides and be sure to check out the website for more FGC things related. But why me? Why me? Well, I'm considered one of the best EU players and um, EVO finalists, third at Red Bull Kumi de Las Vegas and Red Bull Gladiators, and a top Nauri Yuki on ladder. Heed your own warning, fool. Okay guys, this is gonna be a guide about how I approach this character. Nago can be played in so many ways, and this is the reason because I use this. He allows me to express myself as a fighting game player. Now, but before we begin, you, you have to pay attention to the blood gauge. That, that bar that is at the top of the tension bar. Okay, you should learn specifically how it works. All now special use an amount of blood. Uh, imagine that that bar has a number, and that number is 300, no? Right? So, every special costs 19. This costs 19. This costs 19 as well. And this costs 19. And the command dash costs uh, 40... 45 maybe? Yeah. Something like that. Uh, each time you fill up a blood stack, uh, your H normals will become faster and bigger. <laughs> your 5H, your 2H, your 6H, and your jumping D, and jumping H. Yeah, will become faster. Okay, let's talk about my favorite move on neutral game. Let's begin with, with 5P. 5P is really a fast poke. She has 5 frames, maybe. Yeah. He is really good at anti air due to the age of the character. Let's see. Yeah. He's really good. It really goes to a bad stuff, and you can gathering that move with another 5p, uh, a 6p, a 6k, okay. What about 6p? It's one of the best anti air of the game, has uh, high upper body symbol. Um, it's a special cancel level. Let's see. Well, well. And you can combat any 6p into really high damage. What about 5k? He's really good. Uh, he's really fast. It's C on block, which is amazing to keep the opponent guessing. And I, I really like that. It's a really good starter. It's a really good starter. 2S! 2S? It's a really fast movement with short recovery. Yeah. But you must know that it can send the charge of food boss way around. It's nice as a starter, right? Uh, well, you have the H buttons. 2H is really good on tier, one of the best on tier. 5H, good and neutral. Keep this And 6H is like a. It's like an, en an ender. Um, big damage at OTT. It's really good. Um, well, what about the specials? We have. Uh, Sarame Yuki, I mean the clone. <laughs> the clone is is really good. As you can see, uh, now five 
uh, a body double of himself, like a projectile. In this patch, that move get buffed, so now he's really good as uh, a combo, a combo tool, just to extend the combo. Uh, it helps a lot to get to keep the opening guessing on pressure. Let's see. And it helps a lot to make the the forward dash more more safe. You can cover the forward dash with, with the clone to get a safe forward dash. Uh, okay, let's talk about the Beyblade. The Beyblade. It's called Kamuri Yuki. But uh, no one use that name, right? The fucking Beyblade. Okay, uh, it's a launch attack that knocks down the opening, right? It's really good. It's really fast. And unpredictable. So, it has really nice reward at counter hit. Let's see. Yeah. It's really good. At counter hit is like an anti air. Almost. To see? <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> that move is one of the best moves of the game. Um, what else? We have the DP, the Shif uh, Shifuri Yugi. It's really good and anti air. In this patch, you get buffed too. So now you can use the, the follow up as a frame trap. Has with a special counter effect, so, but that use of the, uh, that move is more focused uh, on anti air uses. And a combo standard, you know, a corner carry combo. So B and B combos, guys. Let's talk about B and Bs. I would like to do something useful and funny. Uh, we are going to take the the B and B, one B and B of now, and then we are going to increase the difficult of the combo by adding some move and making that B and B more optimal. So the very basic Naguri Yugi combo would be something like this. He has a really nice starter, which is 2S, a nice corner carry, and a close slash as, as an ender. It's, it's a really fast, fast and safe ender. But what if we want what if we want to increase the the corner carry of the of the combo? We can use the 2k at the middle of the combo like that. We are we have more damage and more corner carry. You see? And what if we need to drain more blood in the combo? We can chain the ender, the closest last, and do a 6H instead. Let's see. You have to time in well, but it's, re it's really useful and optimal. And what if we pull it all together? Okay, so 
Cognitive bonus. Uh, benefits of that. Uh, Maybe it's not that useful. It it only changes six damage, uh, but you increase the the corner carry and increase the drain blood, uh, the blood drain. You know, so it's up to you. Even if you do the basic combo. And the one with the with the two K and six H Ender. Uh, it, it's up to you. Both are good, but it makes the difference between something optimal and something not as good as an unoptimal. But we can change the starter, you know, because the two S sometimes is not good. We can use 5k instead and with 5k or another starter we get the the enemy more airborne so let's see the basic bmb right it's the same but we can change a lot of things you know we can do something like that. Let's see. Like this one. You see what he did? I interrupt the SS segment into a closer slash. And then a 6 8. So, it's more damage. More dream blood. You see? Positive bonus. And you, and you can't do it with a 2S starter, so you must to keep that, that in mind. See? You can't. You must change the, the start. So... 200 of damage. So it's up to you to to use a B and B or change at the main middle of the segment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we are going to use those B and Bs at run start. Uh, as an Ago player, you must know that you must win the runner star always as many times as you can uh, let's take a look to the B&Bs and we will see the reward Duel 1 Let's rock You see? It's like you start the round uh, the enemy start the round with uh, 50% of the HP, which is amazing for you. Dual one. We change the run of the starter. Um, let's see. Now has a really good tools to make the run star easier. Let's take a look. With the coaching, I see. Dual one. Let's so we can increase the the damage of the runner start by making some choice. So we are going to do a basic damage combo with Nago, and then we are going to increase the the damage. Dual one. With the with DP. Okay. Let's see. It will be passing run start, right? Let's make to do something more fancy. Dual one. Let's okay. It's a walk. Yeah. But we can have more damage, right? Let's see. Dual one. Let's rock. 
Yeah. We can have more damage, right? Let's see. And I think we can have more damage. Dual one. Let's rock. So, it's up to, to you and your and your conversion skill that uh, making more damage or not. So, what about game plan, guys? Mm, I would say that now game plan is based is really based on winning the game, the run start, right? Making a good pressure thanks to the bottom dash, right? Uh, making frame traps with the special moves. Let's see. Yeah. Making good meaties with the close slash. And um, strike and throw Misa. So, how I approach this character, I really like to guess the opening round start, and if not, I like to put him on block by using two blood stack, and then, yeah, make, I always try to find the... I always try to find the, a good frame trap and a good conversion. So, as an advi advice, I would recommend to practice the wake up options, the, the wake up main meeting, you know? And one exercise you can do is... Okay, let's try to find a realistic situation. Uh, let's see. Maybe... Imagine that... I do a full command. Yeah. Okay. So we have the, as a wake up answers, a backdash, a throw, and a, and a jump. So let's see the closest lads. The lads use it well, well. It covers all the options. Let's see. Let's try to find a real situation like that. Eh? I dropped that. But if you time it well, you beat all. See? Mm. Let's see. You have to practice the mid the the timing. Okay. You can whiff one time. But it will cover all the options. Except wake up. W wake up super and wake up DP. But it's really good. So, just try to practice that. And on foot you do. Have to practice on foot you do. A major convention. So, that's it. Now, game plan is, is all about to guess it. About to guess in. If the, if the opening mash. Like that. You can make a lot of frame traps. And. Yeah, you can punish every move. You have the tools. That. And. Stop. It's really up to you to. How you will punish 
In every situation you have a, you have an answer. But you have to find it. Okay. So let's talk about strength and weaknesses. As you can see, Nao has a lot of strength. He has a really huge reach. Thanks to the normal big normal attack. And a really good neutral play. He's considered one shot archetype, so he has really high damage. Ridiculous damage. He's very tanky, he has a lot of HP and very good uh, punishment. Let's see. Yeah. If you know the matchup, you can punish every move. You see? So. He has really good unpredictable uh, pressure, thanks to the command dash. And well, as a weakness, I have to mention how vulnerable he is to with punishment. Yeah, if you with something with now, you're, you're almost dead. You know. Yeah, he has big normals, but high recovery times. You see? Even at long range. Because he extends the whole box a lot. You see? It's ridiculous. You see? Oh, I like to see that. Yeah. A long range. Okay, um, another weakness is the blood gauge itself. If you don't master it, you will lose the, the round, most of the time. Uh, he has bad and air-to-air -air moves. Uh, about movement, yeah, he has a really good back dash, but he doesn't have forward dash, double jump, and air dash. So, yeah, it's a slow character. This was a very basic guide to help you pick up the character, guys. Do don't forget, you can check out all things shown in this video on the text version via the link in the description. And if you like the video, please don't forget to leave a like and comment with your thoughts. And thanks you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Refine your skill. You're over-reliant on your strength.